Wheela's application-aware infrastructure performance monitoring tool provides easy access to key services and infrastructure in a variety of ways. The first option is the ability to see all server alarms for all of our virtual machines. From here, we can see the root cause of performance issues. In this case, it's our storage that's our main concern. We can see metrics for the virtual machine, the host, and data store. Clicking on a certain time for that host will show us all the virtual machines that reside on that host. This is an important aspect to see if the virtual machine you're looking at is the actual issue or if it's a victim of another virtual machine utilizing all of the resources. From our network health widget, we can see which VMs are having issues with networking. By hovering over or clicking on a virtual machine, we can see all services that that VM provides. Clicking on one of the services brings us to the root cause view as we saw previously, but this time we see that it's actually a dependent service that's our main issue. Clicking on the networking circle for that dependent service shows us the connectivity between these two virtual machines as well as the hosts that they reside on. You will also see we have widgets for CPU, memory, and storage as well as critical resources at the bottom. On the left hand side you can see we have various monitors for applications, CPU, memory, storage, and networking, but using the application analysis view we can see all of our servers grouped by port group or VLAN. If we hover over or click on a virtual machine we'll see all the services which means we can click to go to the root cause. Selecting the dependent services view we can now see all of the servers and services that a virtual machine relies on. When viewing the network analysis, we can see all the servers, virtual machines, hosts, and switches, and also have the ability to show the top of rack switches as well. By going to the network conversation tab, we can see which servers are talking with others and highlight traffic from server A to server B and vice versa. Both the CPU and memory monitors show us both a circle packing diagram as well as a tree diagram. We're displaying all of our servers on our hosts and our clusters and data centers, as well as all alarms that have to do with CPU or memory. In the storage analysis window, we can see the virtual disks, VMs, and hosts, as well as the data stores, including the read and write IOPS. Lastly, our stats browser allows us to choose a specific data center, cluster, host, port group, vApp, VM, or top of rack switch to get a closer look into it. As shown here, we'll select a specific virtual machine, and now we can see all of the alarms, application response times, as well as CPU, memory, and storage information for the given time range. If we extend the time range above, all monitors will adjust accordingly.